What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. Here I'm doing paused beltless hook grip sumo deadlifts. So all the hashtags here. And I did 525 pounds and that was a goal of having 50 pounds in the tank and then doing 565 pounds here, so 40 pounds added. So I knew I could do it, but at the same time, it didn't move particularly well since of course there was some degree of fatigue there. Now, this is partially inspired by Bryce of Calgary Barbell. As you can see there, that is 750 pounds for a beltless hook grip deadlift. And that was quite a while ago. So you could probably do damn near 800 pounds now. And he has, in my opinion, outside of myself, I always exclude myself in these statements, but I said before that Powerlifting Twin had the best channel on YouTube for powerlifting. Now I think Bryce of Calgary Barbell has the single best powerlifting channel on YouTube. There is so much content on his channel and for some reason he only has 10,000 subscribers, which to me is really just a shame. So please just subscribe to his channel if you're at all curious and give it a shot because he's made, I believe, over 180 videos and they're very well done and he's an IPF world level lifter. And in my opinion, he has sumo technique that is truly up there with the Yuri Belkins of the world. Now, of course, he's on the natty side, pulls on a stiff bar, and Yuri Belkin is literally the best deadlifter probably in the history of the planet. But still, the point is, Bryce has some phenomenal technique in terms of the sumo deadlift, and he, again, only has 10,000 subscribers. So I would love to get the needle moving a little bit more so that 15,000 comes a lot sooner than 10,000 took. So anyways, here are some conventional uh, deficit deadlifts. And the reason why, of course, I'm doing these is to continue to build up my back strength. And I just do 2x8, 2x12, 2x6, and then with this 1x12 with 365 pounds. So it doesn't take too much in terms of loading. 365 pounds is obviously not that heavy for me, but it is really helpful because at the end of the day, that's just adding volume and that's building up that range of motion. And it's more weight than I've handled at all since this injury on a lift like the deficit deadlift. So as I'm going into this, this is week three, and this is the big test day. So the goal generally is to go over that 50 pound limit. So I said I could do 575 on week one. So I wanted to at least go for 600 pounds. I have no idea how 85 plus pounds uh, from week one moved just the same. Honestly, I'm just really happy in general right now, and I have some great momentum here moving forward. So make sure to subscribe to Calgary Barbell, and also like this video and subscribe to my channel. Peace. Man, pop is shooting star. Biggie died, they shot a star. Who you know in West LA? Bring that ruckus to M-A. Jeez.